nine common causes of spray problems with spray nozzles and how to overcome them. The first problem is chemical corrosion. Nozzles are precision parts and if they get corroded, even in a small way, they're not gonna perform well and this will affect the spray performance. So how do we overcome that? Well, material selection is key here. We need to look at the environment, look at the corrosives in there and select the correct material for the spray nozzle. And we also need to remember about that corrosion occurs at different rates at different temperatures. So we need to look at the temperature of the environment as well and select the correct material that will resist that corrosion at that specific temperature. The second problem is temperature. If the environment is too hot for the spray nozzle, then that can cause some deformations within the spray nozzle. And again, because they're precision components, only small deformations can cause big problems with the spray. So again, material selection here is key. We also need to remember that if they're spraying in a hot environment, it's also a wet environment by the very nature of the nozzle. So we have to be very careful when looking at temperature compatibility charts and look at the ones from your spray nozzle manufacturer rather than general material temperature compatibility charts because the ones from the spray nozzle a manufacturer will often be quite a lot lower because they're geared towards the actual spray nozzles rather than the more general components. Another way of overcoming this problem is through heat shielding. We can look at various heat shielding solutions to actually protect the nozzle from the extremes of temperature. A third common cause of problems with spray nozzles is wear, and this is mechanical wear. This can either be by the fluid being sprayed through the nozzle itself, or by external factors within the environment like particulates within the gas flow. So again, material selection is absolutely key here. If we're in a high pressure, high wear environment, then we need to select the harder materials for the nozzle, otherwise we're going to be replacing them. Material selection will reduce that, but it will not eliminate it. All nozzles are a wear part. So the real solution to this is, is not only to select the correct material, but also regular inspection and regular replacement of those nozzles, because even with the hardest materials, they're still going to wear eventually. The fourth common problem with spray nozzles we find is clogging. This is where particulates within the liquid build up within the nozzle and clog the orifice. This will obviously cause poor spraying. And then a solution to this is either better filtration, so look at your filtration upline, or and to use clog resistant nozzles like spiral nozzles or our MP nozzles that have naturally clog resistant designs. The fifth problem we come across is caking, and this is build up around the nozzle. So it's not clogging from within the liquid, it's building up a material that gets onto the nozzle from outside. And the solution to this is anti-bearding or anti-clogging designs that are naturally smooth and don't have places for that matter to build up on. Or we can use low adhesive materials like PTFE that are very kind of slippery. And this, again, helps prevent that from building up. But again, also regular inspection is key to this. In many environments, you can't help but caking to build up over time. And so you need to regularly inspect those and remove it and re replace those nozzles. The sixth problem we come across or cause problems we come across is, is actual mechanical damage. So this often occurs from over tightening of threads. Now nozzles generally will have tapered threads. Tapered threads don't like to be undone and redone up lots and lots of times. They're not designed for that. They're designed to form a fluid seal there. And so, if you're over tightening, taking them on and off on a regular basis, those threads can have damage and that can cause leaking. And the other big cause of mechanical damage is when people are cleaning the nozzles incorrectly. So if they're sticking things in the orifice to clean them out or even wire brushes or things like that, heaven forbid, screwdrivers, you can very, very easily damage at the orifice of the nozzle. The, the correct solution here is to clean them correctly and treat them a bit, with a bit of care and love. They're delicate things, nozzles, and if you're jamming screwdrivers in them, they ain't gonna be working well. So treat them with care. The seventh cause of problems is poor fluid pressure. The fluid supply system can cannot maintain the correct pressure that the nozzle needs to see to get the correct flow rate on the correct drop size, then the back pressure from the nozzle will drop accordingly and it'll actually be spraying at a much lower pressure. So you'll get a lower flow rate, you'll get a bigger drop size and that may mess up all sorts of things within your system depending on what it is. So the solution to this is quite simple. Do your pressure drop calculations and size the pump correctly to account for them. The eighth cause of problems in spray systems is poor flow rate and this is slightly different from poor pressure. And we could have a pump that can deliver the correct maximum pressure, but it hasn't got enough capacity within the pump to deliver the correct flow rate. So what will happen there is that the spray nozzle will generate a back pressure much, much lower. 
So you're gonna end up with similar types of problem to having a pump that cannot deliver the correct pressure. So it'll end up spraying poorly, it may splutter. And so the solution is very similar to poor pressure problems. It's size the pump correctly, ensure the pressure loss calcs have been done correctly. And remember, the pressure and flow rate at the pump are not the same as the pressure as what the nozzle sees. You need to do your gravity pressure losses and your frictional pressure losses. And it's the, what the nozzle actually sees at the end of the pipe system is important. The ninth and final problem we see with spray nozzles is poorly aligned nozzles. So maybe the nozzles get bashed or misaligned or they're not threaded incorrectly. And this obviously if they're spraying in the wrong direction and the spray is going off target, that's going to cause problems. So the solution to this is well, align them properly. But if they're becoming unaligned for whatever reasons, then we may want to look at adjustable nozzle holders that, that allow you to easily hit realign the nozzles. So if you inspect them, you see they're spraying off target, you can realign them without having to mess around with any of the pipework. Dovetail nozzles might be a good solution Solution as well. Rather than have a thread, these have a dovetail a connection, these will slot in the correct orientation in your spray bar, for example. So there's a couple of solutions there to alignment problems. Those are our nine common causes of spray problems with spray nozzles and their potential solutions.